the profiles. Meet the profiles.
get halfway it will be on a little bit probably a, a half a tank and then I would just put gas in it just to have it on the full so by the time we get there we'll be on a half to run around do our thing Literally in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, so we're at a rest stop, bunch of cactus. Uh, I'm about to go potty and head back to the car where we'll be off to Cali. Well, now we know we'll have cash coming back. So I was, we passed the last gas station in Arizona, and I'm like, babe, we should stop here and get some gas, right? Because gas in Arizona is 240, right? We ain't stop. So as soon as we cross state line, we stop in where we supposed to stop and get gas. Do you see that, y'all? It went up a whole two dollars. A whole two dollars, y'all. Like four dollars, if we wouldn't be going nowhere if we lived in Cali. <laughs> but I'm happy our car don't take that much to fill up. But still, four dollars and fifty—that's ridiculous. And I, I don't know, just something told me we need to fill up at this station right here because it was two forty. Now I know. So on our way back, we gonna pass this and we gonna stop in Arizona and get our gas before we head home. <laughs> I'm gonna get out and get me some water off the cooler. Handsome. Hey, Paul. <laughs> you wanna stretch your legs? Yeah? No, you okay? <laughs> he woke up when we stopped. 
but let me get some water real quick i'm thirsty it looks like it's a fire y'all i tried to show the bridge but like literally when i tell y'all we drove like right past it <laughs> so it was too quick to get the the bridge but i'll try to get on my way back but it looks like it's a fire right here all right man looking at the probably just because I've been up since like 4 30 this morning so um but we in the hotel room and this is the room when you walk in and it's double beds Aiden will probably still try to squeeze in that little bed with us but that's a tv little desk area a little curate coffee maker thing going on over there these are all our snacks we had <laughs> Um, they got the ice chest, a little chair, and then that's the lamp phone over there in the corner. And it has a balcony, and I think I thought it was open. Hold on, y'all. Okay, hubby just can't hold on because hubby just came from like I said, he just came from out here. Oh, it's a nice size balcony, so nice. You I need my shoes on my fox on. Oh, that's a mall right here. Yeah, this is a mall right in front of us right here because that's Nordstrom. <laughs> so, double tree over there. But check out the view. I didn't even know these rooms had a, a balcony, but it's a nice little plus. Even though we're on the 16th floor, I'm still gonna lock the door. <laughs> and then this is the bathroom. Nice little bathroom. <laughs> Shower. Here. So, nice. Most Marriott's are nice though, so. Um, Aiden went with his um, grandpa and um, hubby, he had went to, because he didn't bring the cooler up, which he probably should have just brought the cooler up. Um, he went outstairs to get some, uh, waters for us. Um, and then I'm sure he's going to go and find his brother and sister. And I'm about to lay down because I'm tired. And <laughs> I need to get some sleep. For real, for real. But overall, it was a nice, it was a nice little road trip. Aiden, he slept most of the way. Like after our, um, after we got gas, he went back to sleep, and he pretty much slept. And then he woke up a little bit, and then he dozed back off. Cause he was, I, I was like, God, so hubby, I said, if he wake up again, we still in the sky. He gonna be like, really? But when he finally did wake up, he was cool. He was just kind of observing and looking around and seeing everything. So, but he slept for a couple. He had slept for at least two hours. I think it was a ride too, so 
from he was like comfortable we was able to recline his um like his car seat like the seats in the back they kind of recline back so we was able to kind of tilt it up a little bit just so he can kind of like sit back so his neck wouldn't get you know how when kids go to sleep they'd be like this <laughs> so we was able to recline it back so he could actually like sit back and not have his head all hunched over and stuff so oh, handsome's back in the room <laughs> chilling poop that was our first road trip. Got here safe and sound. And it was a smooth ride, like as far as traffic and stuff. So that was really good. Um, Hubby was just saying, like, the only good thing about us getting in this late, like, if we would have left earlier and got here between the six, seven o'clock hour, we probably would have got stopped in traffic everywhere. But you know, people going home and, you know, getting off work and all of that good stuff. So. That was only perk, but we just didn't expect to get here this late. It's 11.20. It was like 11.20 when we got up here to the room. So, um, I'm gonna let y'all, I think we're gonna call it a night. Let's see what hubby gonna do when he get back up here. Y'all, but what's about to be funny is both of us trying to sleep in this little bed. <laughs> y'all know we did that. Our keys have been for forever. And y'all see I'm ready for bed, right? We didn't have our king size bed for forever. And then we got this double. <laughs> as soon as he came in and realized, as soon as he came in and realized like how small the bed was, he was like, that little bed. I said, y'all know. Cause I showed laid across it like, I could sleep in this bed by myself. <laughs> really? We could have did one king, all of us. Cause that's what we sleep in at home anyway. I was like, yeah. But we gonna work it out. We gonna work it out. It's just a day in the life.